Hip right here. Heel. Yo! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Before we get going here today, I have had so many questions from you guys down in the comments regarding these waders provided by Hycia. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask if I liked them. And yes, I love them. Oh, Frederick, he's been missing dad. And now that I'm home, he won't leave me alone. I didn't like them. I loved them. They're the they're literally the best waiter I've ever had. I used them uh, the entire Alaska trip. Saltwater, uh, laying on uh, rocks. Very very lightweight waiter that require waiter boots. This is actually the first pair of uh, waders that require waiter boots that I've ever tried. I've always wanted to try them, and I am extremely pleased with them. But guys, this video is sponsored by Hycia Waders. Big shout out to them. We've ha been having some demonetization issues and it's just companies like this that keep supporting me where I'm able to keep doing this for y'all. So if you guys want to pick up some Hycia Waders, uh, there'll be two different ones linked down in the description below. If you click those links, it automatically places a 15% discount on your cart when you check out. Again, huge shout out to Hycia, amazing waders. You'll see me in them literally all season because honestly, I love them. They are, they're perfect. They fit really well. It comes with a belt. It comes with a waterproof uh, phone case that goes in this pocket. Very nice, check them out. Let's get into the video. Love that Orlock. Right there, that's it, that's it. That's it. Sweet. That's it. Sweet. Layout boat time. First ever layout boat hunt. Conditions look really well. Jack, oh. what's the conditions like for this trip? Perfect. <laughs> Not white capping. No, it won't get white caps and ice and back here, so to speak. It'll be good. It'll probably be hardly a ripple. It'll put you to sleep if you're not paying attention. Well, we're getting loaded up. Forced, ready to get in a layout boat? Yes, I am. Uh, First time. Doing such an adventure like this. Yeah. You know? uh, he's, uh, like y'all know, Forrest is the podcast winner. Yeah. Um, we busted out one podcast. You were on it. That yeah, was on it. It was my first time ever doing a podcast. It'll be a good one. It was pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's going to get interesting today. It will. It's going to be a long day out there. That's all right. We're in for the grind. Oh, baby. You know? But here we go. Here we go. Captain Jack, you want to uh, tell the people how to get a hold of you? <laughs> well, yeah, um, I got Northland Life on Instagram, um, Facebook, um, yeah, start with that and uh, go from there. Yeah, I'll give you, you guys, direct numbers after that or yeah, whatever you guys need. if you guys got need. any questions and you want to contact Jack, you'll, you've seen Jack in a lot of these, every single hunt that we've been on. Um, so if you want to contact Jack, hit him up on Instagram yeah, right Yeah, Northland here. Life. That's probably the easiest yeah. way to get directed to you. And then, like you said, he can give you phone numbers. He can give you Charlie's number. Emails, directly. whatever you guys need. And yeah. The whole nine yards, all the information you want. You're definitely the right-hand man here, and you guys are one hell of a team, man. I appreciate it. You, you guys kill Let's it. Let's go get them today. Hell yeah. That is uh, what you do here at Cold Bay. When your guns are in the boat and everything, that's just a good visual. I've always told you guys at home, if you're hunting A-frames and it's windy, um, do that um we're getting in the boat check it out we're here oh uh, this is where we launched the boat i know have we really showed them the boat yeah like the boat launching area here it's on we're low tide right now yeah and uh it's always a deal loading it up you got to get way out there but before we get going here guys first off i want to say thank you guys for being here uh with the demonetization and everything uh, I think being here kind of cl helped clear my mind a little bit, you know, and, but let's roll. You ready, P. Diddy? Let's go. This is going to be crazy. What do you think of it? This is so cool. <laughs> You're ready to do some shooting out of her, aren't you? Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. It's a comfy boat ride, like you said. Oh, yeah. Fall asleep in this thing. <laughs> Every single day, the views are breathtaking. I mean, they're just unreal. You just entered the boat like a beached whale. It's kind of hard. It is. It's a little deep out here. These aren't as 
Don't make me as agile as I am without them. <laughs> uh, here we go. We're set up. Uh, the brand are already loving it. There's a four pack wanting to come check it out. Uh, big string left to right, V formation, layout boat in the, in the center, and then just a small string out back. Uh, we just got the rules and uh, the guidelines from Captain Jack, and it's keep your head down, don't move, don't sit up until you're ready. Look at these birds. Look at this single. Chris, you guys They're checking ready. it out. Don't move, don't make a noise. Flag the birds when they're out far. When they start coming, don't flag, don't move. Uh, we're gonna go to the beach up here and film with the big lens while we're gonna take y'all on a ride with Gavin and his dad, Chris, who are in the boat now, uh, who's gonna sh shoot first. You're gonna be on Gavin's GoPro on his head, so let's get going. You can't be too far down. So that means just if you're far down, go farther. Pretty much. <laughs> Everyone gets their shoulder blades up on the side and they get all comfortable, but then their head's like a little light beacon on the top. How many people have felt fell asleep in them things and missed birds? More than I want to admit. I figured. Big old, you guys see them Pacific Eiders fly by? No. <laughs> they were sawing logs. Oh, it's worse because that's the hardest bird, like when we do our sea ducks, you know, and it's like, oh man. Yeah. We watched them fly right by you. They're probably sawing logs sounding like you in our room, man. Mm -hmm. You've been a snoring fool. Do you have sleep apnea or something, man? No, I got something else. You were completely ripping logs that just snoring up the snow. Well, you sleep good when you have 14 hour days and three huge meals. Yeah. Yeah. got him well that's uh i think gavin shot that I, i'm not sure we'll know on the gopro i'm sure nice shot number four shot today try not to tear up these birds because this is some trophy hunting this is not for quantity this is for quality and we're just going to try to spot some studs that we can take home and hopefully don't mess up too bad but here we go ready dog I'm ready this is sweet yeah this is our this is the entire alaskan experience now True layout boat hunting. Oh yeah. Uh, here we are laid down. This is as deep as I can go. Good. Feeling good. Dude. Who's talking? This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Perfect uh, conditions. This layout boat, as you can tell, is extremely stable. I had no idea how stable they were. I know. I was thinking the same. It doesn't even move. It is uh, sweet. But guys, like always, if you guys are liking this video, please, please uh, help us out by just smashing the thumbs up button. Um, a lot of stuff with the YouTube channel has, has changed. And hopefully by now, when these videos go up, hopefully we have some, some answers and stuff. But uh, anytime you guys smash that thumbs up or, or, or anything or whatever, it just helps. And, So we're looking for studs. 
Smith looking for the big white beans on their necks, short, stocky necks, big old fat necks. Yeah, it's hard to see. It's, your eyes can't see the birds, really. You can't see the colors until they're they kind of banged on you. So now we know. We're just going to have to pull up, then select a bird, then shoot. That's the move. You got to pull up and look. and look and then take the shot. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Isn't this wild? Was it weird shooting? Uh, no, it was stable. It was really nice, dude. I wanted the front bird. I killed the front bird. Nice. I mean, plucked him. Holy cow, how sweet. He's laid down now. Here's Jack. He's picking up a bird. Well, it's not banded, obviously. You're always hoping he goes, bad. <laughs> All right, he's one down. Who's next time? Is that a decent one? It's like a six out of ten. Six out of ten? We had some. There's some threes. Thank you. I'll take a six out of ten. He's not tore up. Thank you. But I got my pocket. Right on. Sweet shot out there. That was the best. There was one more in the middle, but I didn't want to go to the middle. I went to the front. No, oh, I didn't like it either. No, like either. Oh. Is that the one you were talking about? I don't know. I don't think so. I missed my bird. Nice shot. Nice shot. I don't know if it was that good. <laughs> I saw one with white on its neck, so that's what I tried to do. I didn't know if you were going to do it or not. You know, all these birds getting up. Get out. Get out. One to shoot. I'm gonna make it count. A lot of words. Oh, I want that one. I couldn't shoot him. You didn't get the really good one, but you got one. <laughs> no, you're alright. You're alright. Good shot. Good shot. It's hard to see how they ball up like that. You know. That's just tough. Get down, get down. I'm done. done. Well, that was certainly the one I was looking for. Yeah, buddy. 
we gotta show you guys uh, Gavin's pintail that he shot. It's a stud. Look at him. Yep. Only one. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. We got more. <laughs> There's so many birds here. You're all right. That's kind of a hard shot. I'm still looking right in the sun. Really bad. I did not get the camera on. Good shot, dude. Well, thank you. Awesome shot. Got your last bird down. Okay. Plucked him. That was nice. Pick the first one. Usually that's the big bird. Yep. That was awesome. That's well, Bobby mentioned to me, so yep. I'm pick that one. Less of a chance to yeah. get the other ones. Right. Uh, but we're done. We're all limited out. The wind's picked up. We're loaded out. Uh, headed out here. The wind's picked up, and everybody in the back's just getting smothered with with water. Well, I liked that hunt. The layout boat was amazing. Uh, way easier to shoot out of than I ever expected. I thought that it was, me and Preston both were like, man, I bet we're gonna be horrible shots out of that thing. And uh, sure enough, just like Charlie stated, it was extremely stable. I could not believe it. Uh, it didn't rock at all. You could literally be on one side and jump and it barely even would move, so. Again, huge shout out to Charlie for having us out there. I really can't wait to get back. Uh, but like I said in the beginning of this video, guys, I've been having a ton of questions regarding waders. Everybody needing to replace their ripped waders or just looking for a better pair, or maybe it's your first pair of waders that you've ever bought and you need a good, a good pair that doesn't break the bank. Guys, Hysia, very affordable, very affordable. Uh, if you want to see for yourself, they'll be linked down in the description at the top of it. And when you click those links, if you happen to buy uh, one, a pair of waders, it automatically places 15% off on your cart. So guys, if you've been looking for a pair of waders, the lightweight ones, thin. They're very thin, but they're durable. They're thick. If you've been looking for a new pair and you just haven't, uh, you know, decided on a particular pair, Honestly, honestly, try these out. Hysia, again, they'll be linked down below. Thank you to Hysia for sponsoring this video. Companies like them helping me keep doing this with all these monetization issues. So, again, uh, loved the waders. Um, can't wait to use them the rest of the season because I will. But thank y'all for being here. Uh, the regular season is back. Uh, the next hunt's coming up. We have a huge fishing video. And it, we saw bears, we filmed bears, wolves, everything. Caught a ton of salmon. Uh, that video might be next. So that'll be, whenever you see that video go up, that'll be the last video of the entire Alaska trip. Regular duck season's back, like I stated. I'm gonna get after the public duck hunting. So stay tuned. <laughs>